Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, sports talk with AJP. I want to be talking about the Dallas Mavericks. So, like I said, I'm gonna be talking about the Dallas Mavericks team. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go into detail about every single game this season. Um, highlight their starter, um, their star players, and what they scored, and then um, just talk about breaking it down for you guys so i want to start off by talking about the duel of luka Doncic and kyrie irving um this is their second season playing together um kyrie joined the mavericks last season but um with them even though both played together the both of the players have not played every single game together there's been games where kyrie's playing and luka's out or luka's playing and kyrie's out um so that duel in some games has really progressed and shown what they can really do um in the games that they played with each other so i am going to be starting from the beginning their very first game this season was october 25th against the san antonio spurs the Mavericks won 126 to 119. Um, starting off the season in a 1 0 start, Luka had 33 points and Kyrie had 22. This duo put up combined points of 55 points together. Um, I will say that this duo, once they are playing together, and they both score more than 20 points, it's most likely that the Mavs will win. Um, let's go into the second game, the 27th of October against the Brooklyn Nets. They um, faced two former teammates of Spencer Dinwiddie and um, um, the Mavericks ended up coming out with the win of 125 to 120 against the Brooklyn Nets. And now they are coming off on a streak of 2-0 start to the season. Luka had 49 points. Um, and Kyrie only had 17 points this game. But Luka definitely um, brought out the points for both of them. And, and going into the second, third game against the Memphis Grizzlies, um, they won that game 125 to 110 and they are now starting off 3-0 it's a strong start this game actually um they won by 15 points but Kyrie would did not play in this game Luca did play and he dropped 35 points so we are now seeing the difference um you know even though Kyrie and Luca may not both to get play together um Luca will drop 30 points or more and the Mavs will still get the win at the end into the fourth game of the season which would be November 1st against the Chicago Bulls Mavs won this game 114 to 105 so they are now starting a 4-0 start this season um this is a very strong start and the Mavs um as I can say that some people may not expect them. Yes, they have this talent. They got these new players in from the trades. They got a player like Grant Williams from the Celtics. You know, um, in this game, Kyrie again did not play. Luca only had 18 points, but like I said before, they did get Grant Williams in their trades before the season started, and he actually stepped up and dropped 25 points. So even in doubt when Luca may have an off game, the Mavs still have a player like Grant Williams that can show up and deliver for them to win. And they beat the Chicago Bulls by 11 points. Next game will be um, November 3rd against the Denver Nuggets, which this game will give uh, would be the first loss for the Dallas Mavericks. They would lose 114 to 125. Um, in this game, Luca and Kyrie both played. Luca had 34 and Kyrie had 22 points. Um, 
but the duo just didn't wasn't able to deliver the win for the Mavs. Um, and Jokic did have 33 points this game. I just wanted to highlight that as the point um, the Denver Nuggets in their win, their highest scoring player. Going to November 5th, playing against the Hornets, the Mavs would win 124 to 118. Um, they are we now five and one on the season. Luca had 23 points and Kyrie had 18. Um, they did only win by six points, so obviously they were able to pull out the win at the end with Luca and Kyrie both having a low scoring game that usually are not used to seeing. The next game would be the six against the Magic. They would win 117 to 102. Luca would have 29 points and Kyrie would have 21. That would now be uh, the Mavericks would be six and one on the season. Going to November eighth, uh, going against the Toronto Rapids, the Mavs would lose this game, um, breaking their two-game win streak after their loss to the Nuggets. Um, they would lose this game 116 to 127. And Luca had 31 points and Kyrie had 22. And the um, score had 31 points. So now this would put the Mavs at 2 and 6 on the season. The Mavs will now go um, on November 10th and play the LA Clippers. And they would win this game 144 to 126. Luca came back with his Luca Magic and dropped 44 points, and Kyrie dropped 27. The Mavs would now improve until 7 and 2 on the season. The 12th of November, the Mavs would then play the Pelicans and win this game 136 to 124. And Luca had 30 points. And wait for it, Kyrie had 35. It's not often you see Kyrie score more than Luca, so just wanted to point that out. Um, now the Mavericks would now improve into 8 and 2 on the season. The Mavs would then play the Pelicans again on November 14th. They would lose this game 110 to 131. Um, Luca had 16 and Kyrie had 17. So obviously um, both of the the duo of Luca and Kyrie did not really do so well in the second game against the Pelicans. Um, the high scoring player for the Pelicans had 25 points, um, then go um, into the record of 8-3 and three on the season. The Mavs would then, on November 15th, play the Wizards and win this game 130-117. to Luka had 26 and Hardaway had 31 points. Kyrie was out this game, so we can say that Luka did have a low scoring game, but higher Hardaway um, stepped up in this game and dropped 31 points for the Mavs. Um, the Mavs would then improve until 9 and 3 on the season. Um, on the 18th, they played the Bucks and they would lose this game 125 to 132. Um, Kyrie did come back um, and played in this game. He dropped 39 points. Luka had 35, um, which the duel both put up 35 or more points, but it did not um, help the Mavs get the win, which Giannis, their star on the Bucks, put up 40 points. He was their highest scoring player in that game. Then the Mavs would go in and play um, the Kings on the 19th and lose this game 113 to 129. And Luka had 25 and Kyrie had 30. 23. Um, the highest scoring player for the Kings had 32, so the Mavs would then lose two games back to back and be 9 and 5 now on the season. On the 22nd of November, the Mavs would play the Lakers um, and win this game in a very close game of 104 to 101. Luka had 30 and Kyrie had 28. They would now improve into 10 and 5 on the season. They would then play the Lake the Clippers on the 25th 
and they would lose this game 88 to 107. The Mavs would then be 10 and 6 on the season. Luka had 30 in this game, and Kyrie had 26. And Paul George had 25 points, the highest scoring player for the Clippers in that game. The Mavs would then play the Rockets on the 28th, and they would then win this game 121 to 115, and they would improve it to 111 and 6 on the season. Luka dropped 41 points this game, and Kyrie had 27. Now this going game. into December. Um, the Mavs would play the Grizzlies on the first, and they would lose this game 94 to 108. They would then go into 11 and 7 on the season. Luca was out this game, and Kyrie only had 10 points this game. Um, and the highest scoring player for the Grizzlies had 30 points. They would then play the second against the Thunder, and they would lose this game 120 to 126. Luca had 36 points, and Kyrie was out this game, and they would then drop to 11 8 on the season. And the highest scoring player for the Thunder had 23 points, which that was Williams. On the six, they played the Jazz. The Mavs would get the win of 147 to 97. The Mavericks would then improve it to 12 and 8 on the season. Luka dropped 40 points and Kyrie had 26. The eighth, they would play the Trailblazers. They would win this game 125 to 112. Luka had 32 points and Kyrie had 11. They would then improve it to 13 and 8 on the season. On the 11th, they would then play the Grizzlies again and they would win this game 120 to 113 and they would now improve it to 14 to 8 on the season. Luka had 35 and Hardy had 19. Kyrie was out this game. The 12th, they played the Lakers and they won 127 to 125. Luka had 33 this game. Kyrie was out and Hardaway had 30. They would then improve to 15 and 8 on the season. They would then go into play the Timberwolves on 14. The Timberwolves would break the winning streak of four games. Um, they would Mavs would lose to 101 to 119 against the Timberwolves. They would then drop to 15 and 9 on the season. Luca had 39 points this game, and Kyrie was out this game. They would then play the Trailblazers the 16th, and they would win this game 131 to 112. Luca had 40 points this game. Kyrie was out this game, and Hardaway had 4 25 points this game. They would then improve to 16 and 9. The Mavericks would then play the Nuggets on the 18th. And they would lose this game 104 to 130. They would drop down to 16 and 10 on the season. Luka had 38 points this game, and Kyrie was out this game. The Nuggets' highest scoring player was Murray, who had 22 points, and Jokic, their known star on the team, actually only had 8 points this game. They would then play the Clippers on the 20th. They would The Mavs would lose this game 111 to 120. They would now drop down to 16-11 on the season. Kyrie was still out this game. And Luka had 28 points. The highest scoring player for the Clippers was Leonard, who had 30 points. The Mavs would then play the Rockets on the 22nd. And they would lose this game 96-122. to They would drop down to 16-2 on the season. Luka and both Kyrie were out this game. Prosper had 20 points this game and the high scoring player for the Rockets this game was 22. They would face the Spurs on the 23rd of December and they would get the Mavs would get the win. They would end their losing three game losing streak and they would beat the Spurs 144 to 119. Luka had 39 points this game. Kyrie was out still this game and Hardaway had 23. The Mavs would improve to 17 and 2 on the season. They would play the Suns on the 25th. They would win this game 128 to 114. 
the Luca dropped 50 in this game. 50, 5 0. <laughs> yes, 50. Kyrie was still out. And Jones Jr., Derek Jones Jr., dropped 23 points. And the Mavs would improve to 18 and 12. The Mavs would then go and play the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers were in the winning two game winning streak for the Mavs and would beat them 110 to 113. Kyrie was still out and Luka dropped 39 points this game. Um, the Cavaliers' highest scoring player was Levert and he had 29 points and he came off the bench in this game. Um, I can say that that's a lot of points for someone to come off the bench and score and be the highest scoring player out of all the five starters. Um, so when I saw that number, I was very surprised. Um, the 28th, the Mavs played the Timberwolves and lost this game 110 to 118. Um, Luca and Kyrie were both out. Hardaway had 32 points this game. Um, Edwards was the highest scoring player for the Timberwolves and he had 44 points. The Mavs would finish off the year. Um, on the 30th of December, playing the War Golden State Warriors, they would win this game 132 to 122. They would improve until 19 and 14 on the season. Luca had 39 points. Kyrie was still out, and Exum had 19 points. Going into the 2024 season games, this January 1st, they would play the Jazz. They would lose 1990 to 127. And Luca had 19 and Kyrie had 14. They would drop down to 19 and 15 on the season. They would then play the Trailblazers and win this game 126 to 97. They would improve to 20 and 15. Luca had 41 and Kyrie had 29 this game. So the duo definitely stepped up in this game to give the Mavs the win. The fifth, they played the Trailblazers. And they won this game 139 to 103. Um, the Mavs would improve to 21 and 15 on the season. And Luca was out this game. Kyrie had 24. Hardaway had 19. And Hardy had 19. So we had the Mavs had other players when Luca was not playing this game step up and drop a good amount of points to help the Mavs get the victory. Um, then the seventh, they would play the Timberwolves. And they would win this game 115 to 108. They would improve to 22 and 15 on the season. Luca had 34 and Kyrie had 35. The duo both put up the 30 piece or more points to give the Mavs a win. The Mavs would then play the Grizzlies and lose this game 103 to 120. The Mavs would then go down to the record of 22 and 16 on the season. Luca had 31 points this game and Kyrie had 33. Even though the duel did drop 30 points or more, the Mavs still weren't able to win this game. The highest scoring player for the Grizzlies had 32 points in this game. The Mavs would then go and play the Knicks and win this game 128 to 124. The Mavs would then improve to one um to 23 and 16 on the season. Luca was out this game. Hardaway stepped up and dropped 32 points. Kyrie definitely stepped up with Luka not playing and dropped 44 points. The Mavs would then go play the Pelicans and lose 108 to 118. Luka was out this game. Kyrie had 33. The Mavs would drop to 23 and 17 on the season. The Pelicans' highest scoring player was Hopkins, who had 34 points this game. The Mavs would then play the Pelicans again, and they would win this game 125 to 120. They would then improve to 24 and 17 on the season. Luca was out still. Kyrie had 42 this game, so he definitely contributed in hard way. Stepped up big time and dropped 41 points this game. 41. Um, honestly, I had to look at it twice, and this game, I remember watching it, it was something. 
Jazz would then play the Lakers and lose this game 110 to 127. The Mavs would then drop to 24 and 18. Luka had 33 and Kyrie had 12 this game. The highest scoring player was Russell Wilson who had 29 points for the Lakers this game. The Mavs would then play the Celtics. They would lose this game 110 to 119. They would then drop to 24 and 19 on the season. Luka had 33, Kyrie had 23. Um, the duel was just not able to get the win for the Mavs, even though they both dropped a good amount of points. Um, Jason Tatum had 39. He was the highest scoring player for the Celtics this game. The Suns would be the next game for the Mavericks, and they would lose this game 109 to 132. So they would then drop to 24 and 20 on the season. Luka had 34 points this game. Kyrie was out this game. The high scoring player for the Suns was Devin Booker, who had 46 points this game. The Mavs would then play the Hawks, and they would win this game 148 to 143. They would then improve to 25 and 20 on the season. Luca had 73 points. 73 points, I said. And Kyrie was out, and Josh Green had 21. Yes, I said Luca had 73 points against the Atlanta Hawks on January 26. Remember that date. Remember that date. The Mavs would then go and play the Kings and lose this game 115 to 120. Luca would drop 28 points and Kyrie would be out was out this game. The Mavs would then drop to 25 and 21 on the season. Fox had the highest scoring um of 34 points for the Kings this game. The Mavs would then go play the Magic and they would win this game 131 to 129. They would then improve their record to 26 and 21 on this season. Luca had 45 this game. Kyrie was out. Hardaway had 36 this game. I can say that Kyrie, um, when in doubt, Hardaway has stepped up to help the Mavericks get the win. It may not be every game that Kyrie's out, but he has stepped up when he's needed to. Um, the Timberwolves would be the next game for the Mavericks and they would lose 87 to 121. Luca was out this game. Kyrie was out. Josh Green had 18 points and Towns would be the highest scoring player for the Timberwolves and he had 29 points this game. Um I just think yeah when both Kyrie and Luca are out, the hot player like Josh Green um or Hardaway Jr. needs to step up and be that scoring option for the Mavericks when both Kyrie and Luka are not in the game, you know. Um, they would then go into February on the um, February 3rd and play the Bucks, and they would lose this game 117 to 129. Um, the Mavs would then be 26 and 23 on the season. Luka had 40 points this game. Um, the highest scoring player is very well known Giannis he had 48 points this game the Mavs would then go and play the 76ers they would win this game 118 to 102 they would then improve to 27 and 23 on the season Kyrie had 23 points and Luka had 19 they would then play the Brooklyn Nets and they would win this game 119 to 107 the Mavs would then improve to 28 and 23 on the season Luka had 35 and Kyrie had 36. They would then go and play the Knicks. They would win this game 122 to 108. They would then improve to 29 and 23 on the season. Luka had 39 and Kyrie had 16. They would play the Thunder and win this game 146 to 111. The Mavs would then improve to 30 and 20. Three on the season, the Mavs would get their dirty wins. Um, Luka had 32, Kyrie had 25, and this would be the start of addition of Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington onto the Mavericks. And Gafford had 19, and PJ Washington had 14.
so before the game of the Mavericks playing the Thunder and winning that game, um, the Mavs were on a win streak of three games. And now adding PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford, they were now going on to a four game winning streak. Then this would lead them to play the Wizards and win this game 112 to 104. So the team would be proving to 31 and 23. Um, P.J. Washington had 9 points, Daniel Gafford had 16, Kyrie had 26, and Duke um, Luka also had 26. The Mavs would then play the Spurs, the uh, San Antonio Spurs, and they would win this game 116-93. to 93. Um, They would then improve to 32-23 to on the season. Luka had 27 points, Kyrie had 34 Daniel Gafford had 10, and P.J. Washington had 3. Um, they would then play the Suns and win this game 123 to 113. Um, they would be now 33 and 23 on the season. Luka had 41 points this game. Kyrie had 29. Daniel Gafford had 4, and P.J. Washington had 12. They are now... If you are mathing what I'm mathing, are on a winning streak of seven games. But since the trade have been on a, four, a winning streak with the addition of Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington. But also, let's break down that now that they are have traded and got Washington and Gafford, they're adding them and inserting them both to the starting lineups for the Mavericks. I think we can also break that down and show show on their schedule which games that actually has an effect to helping the Mavericks win when Washington and Gafford are both inserted to a starting lineup for the Mavericks would then play the Pacers and they would this would be their first loss since the trade um they would lose this game 113 111 to 133 um this game Luca had 33 Kyrie had 29 Gafford had 8 and PJ had 2 um, they would drop down to 33 and 24 on the season. Um, Turner was the highest scoring player for the Pacers, and he had 33 points. They would then play the Cavaliers, and the Mavs would lose that game, 119 to 121. And the Mavs would drop down to 33 and 25 on the season. And Luca had 45 this game, and Kyrie had 30. Gafford had four, and PJ had 11. And um, Mitchell being the highest scoring player, he had 31 points um, for this game. Honestly, when Luca scores 45 and Kyrie drops 30, honestly, you look at that number and you hope the maps win. But sometimes that does all that doesn't always happen. But honestly, when I saw that Luca had 45, Kyrie had 30, I expect I just assumed the maps won, but they didn't. Um, but you know, it happens. Um, they would then play their Raptors, they would win that game 136 to 125. The Mavs would then improve to 34 and 25 on the season. Um, in this game, Luca had 30, Kerry had 29, PJ had Washington had 23, Hardaway had 16, and Gafford had 13. The Mavs would then play the Celtics. Um, in, on March 1st. We're going into March now for the Dallas Mavericks schedule. Um, they would lose this game to the Celtics 110 to 138. Luka had 37 this game. Kyrie had 19 and PJ Washington had 17. Um, the Mavs would then drop down to 34 and 26 on the season. Jason Tatum had 32 points. He was the highest scoring player for the Celtics this game. Um, the 76ers would be the next match um, game for the, the Dallas Mavericks. They would lose this game 116 to 120. Luka had 38 points. Kyrie had 28, and Derek Jones Jr. had 21. Um, the Mavs would drop down to 34 and 27 on the season. The highest scoring player for the 76ers this game was Harrison. He had 28. The Mavs would then play the Indiana Pacers. They would lose this game 120 to 137. And the Mavs would then drop down to 34 and 28 on the season. Um, Luca had 39. Kyrie had 23. 
and P.J. Washington had 20. Um, Turner was the highest scoring player for the Pacers, and he had 20 points. Honestly, when I looked at this, I saw that the highest scoring player had 20 points. And you see Kyrie dropped 39. Luka, um, Kyrie dropped 23. Luka dropped 39. P.J. dropped 20. You have three players scoring more than 20 points or more. You assume the Mavs would win, but it didn't happen. So, um, you know, I don't know. Sometimes the math just ain't mathing sometimes on these games, but that just what happens. The Mavs would then play the Heat. They would win this game 114 and 108. They would then break their three game losing streak and they would improve to 35 and 28 on the season. Luka had 35 this game and Kyrie had 23. They would then play the Pistons. The Mavs would win this game 142 to 124. They would improve to 36 and 28 on the season. Kyrie had 21. Luka had 39. Gafford had 17 and Hardaway way had 17 this game um they would then play the chicago bulls the maps would win 127 to 92 the maps would then improve to 37 and 28 on the season luca had 27 Kyrie had 7 14 sorry 14 um gafford had 20 and lively had 22 the duel of gafford and lively being on the mavericks is not talked about enough, I don't think. Yes, Lively is a rookie. He was a starter. He was putting up his po double his points, whether it be him getting 10 rebounds or more or 10 points or more, which either one he did. But then the addition of Daniel Gafford, him now being inserted to the starting lineup, that does, even though now that Lively is not starting, does not affect him to not to perform because he does he is still performing for the Mavericks and I just honestly can say that adding PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford to Maverick is Mavericks is only been a uh, great for the Mavericks and this team building up their chemistry and improving as of individuals and as a team is going to help the Mavericks for the playoffs but then go and play the Warriors they would win this game 119 to 99 the Mavs would then improve to 38 and 28 on the season Luka had 21 and Kyrie had 23 the Mavs would then play the Thunder they would lose this game 111 um, 119 20, 26 sorry um, this would break the Mavs winning streak of four games. Um, they would then drop down to 38 and 29 on the season. Um, Kyrie had 36 and Hardaway had 23. Luka was out this game. The highest scoring player for the Thunder had 31 points. The Mavs would then go and play the Denver Nuggets. They would win this game 107 to 105. A very close game, but the Mavs were able to pull off the win at the end. Um, Luka returned for this game, and he had 37 points. Kyrie had 24, and Lively had 14. And I just wanted to point this out. Um, Jokic only had 16 points this game, and the, the Denver Nuggets lost the Mavericks. The Mavs would then go and play the Spurs. They would win this game 113 to 107. The Mavs would then improve to 41 and 29 on the season. Luka had 34 points, Kyrie had 16, and Daniel Gafford had the 24 points. The Mavs would then start their two game series against the Utah Jazz. They would win the first game 113 to 97. The Mavs would in the victory over the Utah Jazz. Luka had 34 points, Kyrie had 16, and Daniel Gafford had 24. And the Mavs would um, win the second game against the Utah Jazz, one fifteen to one hundred five. Mavericks would then improve to forty two and twenty nine on the season. Luka had twenty nine points, Kyrie had twenty seven, and PJ Washington had sixteen points in this win for the Mavericks. The Mavs would then go and play the uh, the Kings. They would win this game one thirty two to 96 the Mavs would then improve to 43 and 29 on the season Luka had 28 Kyrie had 24 and Hardaway Jr. had 22 points in this win for the Mavericks they would then play the Kings again 
the 29th. The Mavericks would win 107 to 103. The Mavs would then improve to 44 and 29 on the season. Luka had 26 and Kyrie had 30 this game. The Mavs would then finish off March um, schedule playing the Rockets. They would win this game 125 to 107. Luka had 47 and Kyrie had 24. The Mavs would finish off the season ending March and with a record of 45 and 29 on the now season. Going into the April schedule for the Dallas Mavericks, they would play the Golden State Warriors on the 2nd of April. They would lose this game 100 to 104. The Mavs would drop down to 45 and 30 on the season. Luka had 30 points and Kyrie had 27. The highest scoring player for the Golden State Warriors this game was Wiggins and he had 23 points this game. The well, Mavericks would then play the Haw Atlanta Hawks and they would win this game 109 to 95. They would improve to 46 and 30 on the season. And Luka had 25, Kyrie had 26, and PJ Washington had 19 this game. The Mavs would then play the Golden State Warriors again, and they would win 108 to 106. This was a very close game for the Mavericks, but at the end they were able to pull off the victory, and they would prove to 47 and 30 on the season. Luka was out this game, Kyrie had 26, and PJ Washington stepped up and dropped 32 points this game. So I think it shows from the trade, even after when Luka or Kyrie is out, we have players like PJ Washington and Darren Gafford who can just step up for the Mavericks. And like PJ Washington did this game in the, against the Golden State Warriors and dropped 32 points for the Mavericks. Then going to April 7th, the Mavericks would play Houston, the Houston Rockets, and they would win this game 147 to 136 in overtime. I wanted to go down in more detail in this game. Um, in this game, the Mavs would then um, improve the record to 48 and 30 on the season. Luka had 37, Kyrie had 48, but to break down the last couple minutes of this game, was less than 10 seconds. PJ Washington gets the rebound of a missed free throw. Exum gets the ball, dribbles it up. He then gives it to Luca. Exum then spreads away into the right side of the three point line. Luca is then double teamed, and Exum then uh, gets the pass from Luca and shoots up the three before it makes it before the buzzer goes off and sends the Mavericks to overtime to tie the game. The Mavericks then go into overtime and win the game, and the Mavericks win the game by a 22-point comeback win. 22-point comeback win. They were down by 22 points, and they came back and won the game. I can say right there that's the way that the Mavericks showed some grit and some fire, and they weren't going to back down. So that's it for now. Um, I am going to take every single game for the Dallas Mavericks and break it down, players, their stats, and everything like that. Um, now that I am basically caught up. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below how you guys, if any of you guys are Mavericks, Dallas Mavericks fans, or what you guys think about the Mavericks season, or let me know who you're favorite NBA team is down below and if you guys would like me to talk about them or any of the players on any of the teams whether it be Stephen Curry, um, Nis Tatum, um, Jokic, Giannis, or anyone else let me know comments below uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys bye